Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Mango Roundup haul. I have quite a few items from Mango. We're going all out here. It is the time of sales, and I'm not sure what sale Mango is gonna do. Usually they do 30% off, but sometimes they do like 30% off and then random like 40 or 50% off on certain items. So I have some new things that I got in. I also have some really great old staples that are on Mango's website. They have like the most amazing coats and I actually really love their accessories, like their bags. I have a couple of those. Um, my favorite jeans right now are from Mango. So I have lots of really great things. Everything will be linked down in that description box. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first up from Mango here is a new sweater I grabbed. I actually grabbed it in two colors and what I'm wearing right now I'm gonna show next in like a different colorway but the sweater is so great it's an oversized longer almost like tunic length v-neck sweater it's a great basic I love the color options this is the oatmeal um, I did okay so I did got different sizes in the colors because I kind of wanted to see which size felt good um because it did say oversized so this is the small it's definitely oversized so i think i prefer the extra small maybe just a little bit better but this is a great one for leggings too if you want to wear it with leggings or just jeans like this um it's very very soft it's not scratchy it's not super plush i would say but it's definitely not scratchy it's very soft kind of has that like squishy feel such a really great basic. I love these for kind of just layering. All right, next up, these are my favorite jeans right now from Mango. I am just obsessed with them. I have been wearing them nonstop. They are called the High Rise Mom Jean, um, and they are a great length for me. I love all the washes. It is a high rise. They just fit really nicely. Um, so I got a size two in them. I also have a size four in them. I found out as I wore them, they do, I don't want to say they bag out, but they do kind of stretch out a little bit and they stay that way. Um, they don't stretch out too bad, but once you, if they, if you get them and they feel a little tight in spots, they do kind of break in a little bit. Um, so I really, really love them. So the two for me fits perfect. Um, and this is the kind of like medium wash. And then I also have the dark wash that I'll share next. All right. And then this is the oversized V-neck in the other color I got, which is gray. Um, this is the extra small. Um, so you can see it definitely runs oversized. I prefer the extra small fit just a little bit better than the small. So I suggest sizing down one. Um, and again, a great one for leggings, just kind of an oversized basic layering sweater. All right, so these are the dark wash in the high rise mom jeans. Oh my gosh, they are just so comfortable. I swear they are just as comfortable as like some A Goldie jeans that I have that are like really, really expensive. And these are well under a hundred dollars. So love these highly, highly suggest these denim. All right, next up, another sweater is this adorable cable knit kind of camel sweater. I love the half zip. It has like a really big kind of collar with it. Um, I love the cable knit details on it. It's very, very soft, very warm and fuzzy. Um, I really like it. It is slightly cropped. So if you're wearing something high waisted, I actually kind of like the way it hits. It's not too cropped, but it's also not super long either. It hits at a really nice spot. Um, size wise, I actually sized down to an extra small in it. Um, I just wanted a little bit more of a fitted look, I guess, um, because of the length of it. I just love how it hits with like some wide leg jeans, which I'm going to share next. All right. So these are the wide leg jeans. I have had such a hard time finding a really good pair of wide leg jeans that fit correctly. Um, being petite, being a little bit shorter, and just finding a good balance of like wide, <laughs> wideness, I guess. Um, some are like really, really wide, and then some are like just fit in weird places. Um, these are the first ones I found that I'm like, I love them. I feel good in them, um, and I've worn them quite a few times. I actually just washed them and hang dried them. So they're really wrinkly, I'm really sorry. Um, I should have steamed them before I filmed this, but I 
love them so much these are such a great pair they're called the culotte denim um they're very high rise and then they just kind of like they feel like really good up here and then they like just kind of flare out at the bottom and i don't feel like they're overwhelming at the bottom um i feel like some other ones are just like so wide i'm like okay i can't it's like too much um but these are great and they also hit at a really nice length for me i can either wear a heel with them or i can even wear a flat and i don't feel like it's scraping the ground or anything um size wise i went with a size two and this one comes in lots of different denim options as well that comes in like a light wash a dark wash obviously this kind of like off-white color a black color so many different options they are the best wide leg jeans i've found next up is a sweater that was very very popular last year it sold out very quickly um and it is back again this year i love it it is the striped knit um it has like some ribbing on the sleeves it goes to a slight mock neck up here it's this really pretty brown with black stripe i believe it comes in one other colorway as well um size wise i went with an extra small this one comes a little bit it like kind of goes a little tighter at the bottom, which I always like for like flipping under like this and then giving that tucked look without having to tuck in a sweater. So I kind of like it. Um, very cute. It does have 5% wool in it. Um, so if you are very sensitive to any kind of scratch or itch, this one might be itchy for you, um, but it's very, very minimal. I personally don't feel it and I'm not affected by it. I'm pretty sensitive to those kinds of things, um, but I can stand a little bit of wool. So I love it. It's very, very warm. Highly suggest this one. All right, before we get into some more sweaters, I want to share a couple of bags that have really been my favorite. I love them. Um, first one being this genuine suede shopper tote um it is so good it kind of has like a hobo style um it has one strap here and the suede is just like you can see it's just like buttery soft the color is so beautiful i have been loving this bag this fall it has so much room inside i love it the quality is so nice I think it looks so high end and it's such a good price. Um, and then this bag has been one of my favorites too. I love the shape of it. So it has this like top handle right here, um, tons of space, but not too oversized and has a little bit of structure to it. And then it has this long strap where you can go on your shoulder or crossbody with it. It's just like a really good size for me. Um, sometimes I don't need a full on tote and sometimes I don't wanna carry like a tiny little crossbody. I need something that has some room. Um, so this one is great and I love that I can also hair carry it like this. So super, super cute. I believe this one comes in another color as well. All right, next up, this has been one of my favorite knit little sets I shared in a previous mango haul i love this little set so much um so it is this little cardigan which is a beautiful like brownie taupe color and then these amazingly soft kind of like lightweight too they don't feel like so thick and heavy on um little kind of like sweatpant joggers they are so comfortable. They are hidden in their pajama section, <laughs> but I have actually worn this cardigan with a cute pair of jeans and it looked adorable. Um, and then I can come home and put on my knit little sweatpant joggers here and I'm so comfortable. It's so warm, so soft. Size wise, I went with a size small in both of them. They run, it runs small, medium, large. They do run a little bit oversized. Um, so I would stick true to size if you are an extra small or larger than a large. Unfortunately, all I have is small, medium, large, which I think is kind of a bummer. But I love the set. If you can find your size, it's so soft. All right, next up are the coats and blazers. You guys, coats at Mango or jackets are just 
the best. Like I have found so many great ones and they're just really good quality. Um, this blazer was a find this year that I absolutely love. I think it's beautiful. Um, I love the houndstooth print. I love the length of it. Um, it just feels really high end. It is lined with a satin lining. Size wise, I did go with the size small in it. I did a whole video on how to wear it because it's so good. All right, next up, of course, I have the coat again. Oh, I love this piece. This is probably my most reached for like outerwear piece ever. I just love it. I think it's so comfortable. It's got this knit feel, but it's squishy and soft. It's heavy on, so it gives some weight and warmth. It just, it's just great. I love it. Um, this is the medium brown color. And then this is the charcoal gray color. It's just very comfortable. They also have a beautiful green out there. Um, size wise, I go true to size in a small. I want it to be an oversized fit though. If you do not want it as oversized, I would size down one. Um, so Oh, I've owned these for years and they're just my favorite. All right, next up, a coat I have shared in my last mango try on. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It feels like a designer coat, but it is not a designer price tag. Um, it is just so nicely made. It is a wool blend. It's a beautiful color. I just love it. Um, this one is not lined, um, so it does not have a lining in it. So it's a little bit like thinner, but it, to me, because it's a wool blend, it definitely gives warmth and weight to it. Um, I just love it. I think it's so pretty. It just feels so fancy. I don't know why. Um, size wise, size down. It does run very big. I got a size extra small and I have plenty of room for thick layers. So this one runs a little bit big. I would size down. All right, next jacket is this like barn jacket. I've actually worn this one so much lately. I got it in and I was like, okay, I love it so much. Will I wear it? I have so many coats. Like, I don't need another coat. And I, I couldn't not. And I have been grabbing it nonstop lately. Um, and I haven't even shared it in like a try on video, but I love this jacket. It is a waxed coated kind of jacket with, um, kind of has like a cloth lining this pretty plaid um the collar is corduroy it has kind of a swing vibe so it's kind of like boxy and flowy um this one's a little bit cropped and shorted but i love the brown color they also have kind of like a grayish greeny one um that's a little bit on the longer side so cute um this one is i got an a size small so i did stick true to size in it um it kind of has that oversized look and feel but i love it i think it's so cute in the last coat i have here from mango was a very popular one from last year and i really wanted it last year and it sold out too quickly and it came back this year so i grabbed it it is this really pretty faux fur toggle jacket Oh, it's so beautiful. I think it's so pretty for like the holiday time here. Um, oh, I just love it. The inside is actually like a faux leather material. I love the little toggles. I love the color of it. It is so extremely soft. Um, the weight of it is really, really nice too. Size wise, I did go with an extra small. I do feel like it runs a little bit big. I would size down. Um, I feel like the extra small works really nicely for me. I can fit some thicker layers under it still. It's just such a pretty coat. All right, guys, so that is it for my big mango roundup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not, and I'll see you guys in my next one.